Alright, the starving artist is at it again, and today I've got a new distribution that caught my eye while I was surfing around on DistroWatch. This is a fork of Aptosid, and this is called Seduction, and we are looking at that today on Smatry's Cup of Linux. All right, let's begin. Uh, this one caught my eye as I was sifting around uh, DistroWatch. Seems like there is a lot of distributions for the new year already coming out. And this one is based on Debian SID, and it is a fork of Aptosid. And the reason why I decided to look at this one, because I was always intrigued by the Debian SID distros that were out there. I haven't really had uh, reason to install them yet because I'm, I still like my Ubuntu based distribution that I'm running now. But I have had an interest in this because, you know, I'm learning a lot more about Linux and I have matured quite a bit. And uh, this particular distribution comes in three different flavors. You can get this with KDE, XFCE, and today I'm looking at LXDE because I've always been fond of the LXDE user interface. So uh, here it is. I'm running it in live mode. I haven't installed this on my system and uh, let's go ahead and have a look at this. By the way, before um, going into this, uh, this is a new fork. There isn't a whole lot on their forms, but I did see that there are a few issues uh, with some of the with some of the um, items in this and uh, there are answers on their forms. Now this distribution was based out of Germany so there's a lot more feedback and information going on in the in their German side of the forum. But the nice thing is if you have Google Translate and everybody does if you know where to find it you know and you're running into an issue you can go into their German forums and just translate them to uh, look through and sift through everything but they do have an English form as well. Okay with all of that out of the way, let's have a look at this and see what you get. This is actually using the LXDE user interface. I like how this looks, and this looks like it's using its standard, uh, its standard uh, theme. All right, and uh, of course you have a power button uh, down here. You can lock the screen. You got a time, and you get a CPU monitor, or or is that a network monitor? It looks more like a network monitor down here. Okay, you get two desktops to choose from. You can iconify all windows. You get the Midori web browser. And then this one is your file manager down here. Let's go ahead and click that. And you can see you get your <laughs> seducer. I love it. I love it. <laughs> what a cool name for... Uh... <laughs> All right, let's see what this comes loaded with. Now, the nice thing about this this uh, disc is it will fit on a CD, and um, we'll see how many programs you get with this. And accessories, you get Brazero, uh, Figaro's password manager, a file manager, which they called Seducer. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Uh, you get Galculator, Image Viewer, LX Terminal, Leaf Pad, which is a nice lightweight text editor, Midnight Commander, Commander, Root Terminal, Tux Commander, X Archiver, and Zim Desktop Wiki. In graphics, you get a Document Viewer and Xsane Image Scanning Program. In Internet, you get Seni, Elinks Web Browser, Midori. Silfeed, Transmission, XChat IRC, Seduction IRC, SSH, SSH Start, and XDG Browser Launcher. In Office, you get Abbey Word, Numetric, and Osmo. In program, Programming, you get Gini, Sound and Video, Brazero, uh, Dead Beef, and Xine. In System Tools, you get GTK CH Theme, uh, HTOP, Report Bug, System Profiler, and Benchmark, 
Task Manager Blue Water Manual install seduction to USB handy if you want to take Linux with you everywhere you go uh, a kernel remover uh, set password and sudo installer okay and then you get a complement of preferences and the nice thing about LXDE it is relatively easy to configure and because it is a lightweight shell this will run on older hardware so you don't have to have the latest and greatest machine out there unlike if you're going to run KDE which does require a modern processor this one is very nice if you have a machine that's more than three years old so all in all this is looking pretty good not a whole lot in the uh, 700 meg download and uh, that is kind of to be expected with this so you'll need to go into the software repositories and uh, download uh, any applications that you may want to run great little uh, lightweight system um, this may be something uh, I may consider looking to in the future I'm, I'm I've kind of grown in terms of uh, using Linux and so uh, I figure my next step would probably be going into a Debian uh, branch rather than uh, rather than uh, jumping into Arch just yet. Now the one thing I did notice when I went on DistroWatch is the fact that um, this operating system is running just about just about everything that this includes is running the latest version. There are a few items that are that are um, that are a little bit older but mostly newer things in here and one or two items that are running unstable if you thought this introduction to seduction was useful to you please hit like and subscribe also catch me on Facebook and Twitter you can even uh, hop in TeamSpeak and say hi to me thanks for watching and we'll see you next time mm -hmm.